Hey there, ever heard of the movie It's a Mad, 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 Mad World? If not, you're in for a treat. This 1963 flick is a roller coaster ride of laughter, surprises, and even a few tears. Picture this a group of strangers on a wild hunt for hidden treasure, navigating through hilarious mishaps and outrageous situations. It's one heck of an adventure, let me tell you. But here's the kicker, there's more to this movie than just laughs. It's got layers touching on themes like greed, friendship, and the lengths people will go for a chance at fortune. Now, here's the deal in this video. We've got some fascinating facts lined up for you about this timeless classic. We're talking funny anecdotes, jaw-dropping trivia, and even some heartwarming stories. So stick around. Now, let me ask you this. What do you think makes this movie such a lasting icon in the world of cinema? And hey, do you have any special memories tied to watching It's a Mad, 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 Mad World? We'd love to hear your stories in the comments below. So, grab your popcorn and get ready for a journey into the mad, 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 mad world of this unforgettable film. You won't want to miss it. It's a mad, 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 mad world stands as one of the greatest comedies in cinematic history. Boasting an ensemble cast that includes comedic legends like Milton Berle, Ethel Merman, Dick Sean, Mickey Rooney, Phil Silvers, Buddy Hackett, Jonathan Winters, Terry Thomas, and Sid Caesar, the film is a testament to director Stanley Kramer's genius in orchestrating such a colossal classic. Eddie Adams' brave performance, especially poignant considering her recent loss, adds depth to the ensemble. The film's thin plot serves as a backdrop for a series of uproarious scenes, each expertly executed by the talented cast. Ethel Merman's portrayal of the nagging Mistress Marcus, Buddy Hackett's Benji Benjamin, and Phil Silvers' Otto Meyer are particularly memorable. Terry Thomas's portrayal of J. Algernon Hawthorne adds a touch of gentility to the chaos. The film's numerous cameos, including those by Spencer Tracy, Jerry Lewis, and the Three Stooges further enhance its comedic brilliance. However, it's Jonathan Winters' portrayal of Lenny Pike that steals the show, with his riotously funny scenes leaving audiences in stitches. Despite its release during a tumultuous time, It's a Mad, 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 Mad World remains a timeless comedy that continues to entertain audiences of all ages. Its blend of humor and message about the consequences of crime ensures its place as a beloved classic for generations to come. And it's a mad, 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 mad world. Several notable actors brought their own unique backgrounds and talents to the film. Mickey Rooney, known for his acting prowess, also had a passion for animal rights activism. Buster Keaton, whose performance in the general is highly regarded, showcased his talent in this comedic ensemble. Additionally, Carl Reiner, along with his son Rob Reiner, made history by becoming the first father and son duo to leave their marks at Grauman's Chinese Theater. These actors added depth and diversity to the cast, contributing to the film's enduring appeal and legacy. In 1949, Sid Caesar relocated his family to an apartment complex in Rigo Park, Queens, New York. Meanwhile, Jerry Lewis held Al Jolson in high esteem, considering him his idol. Additionally, Jim Backus found himself under the tenancy of Eva Gabor when he sublet her New York City apartment in November 1957. These connections shed light on the lives of the actors behind the scenes of the 1963 film. In the 1920s, Edward Everett Horton, along with his brother George, acted in and managed the Majestic Theater in Los Angeles. Spencer Tracy, known for his frequent on-screen collaborations with Katherine Hepburn, starred in Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, which Hepburn never watched after Tracy's passing as it was too painful for her. Larry Fine resided in the hills of Griffith Park. These anecdotes offer a glimpse into the lives of the cast members behind the scenes of It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. Imagine a famous director known for making serious movies decides to try something different, a hilarious comedy. He gathers a fantastic group of actors, including one known for being on a popular TV show and another famous for his funny performances. Together, they create a movie that's still making people laugh today. It's a classic comedy that shows a different side of the director's talent. In 1948, the radio quiz show Truth or Consequences ran a weekly contest to identify the walking man. The gag was to guess who the footsteps belonged to. Every week they played the steps. Eventually, they revealed it was Jack Benny. The final film of Willis H. O'Brien, who contributed to the effects for the famous ladder scene, although uncredited due to his death during production. The film featured numerous cameo appearances by various comedy stars. According to some exhibitors, one of the biggest audience reactions occurred during the airport sequence when the camera revealed Mo Howard, Larry Fine, and Joe Dorita, also known as the Three Stooges. Dressed as firemen, complete with fire axes, the trio's appearance often resulted in laughter and applause from audiences despite having no dialogue or action. 
Ethel Merman, nominated for a 1957 Tony Award for Leading Actress in a Musical for Happy Hunting, brought her formidable talents to the ensemble cast. Charles Lane, one of the last survivors of the 1906 San Francisco earthquake, added depth to the roster of actors. Mickey Rooney, a fan of the 700 Club, contributed his own unique charm to the film. These diverse talents converged in this comedic masterpiece, creating a timeless classic that continues to entertain audiences worldwide. In the film, a tow truck is featured prominently. It's a 1951 Dodge M37. Ethel Merman, known for her role, faced personal tragedy. She endured a miscarriage while married to Robert Levitt. Mickey Rooney, another notable figure, held a unique distinction. After James Stewart's passing in 1997, he became the last surviving entertainer from a particular 1941 production. It's a mad, 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 mad world continues to captivate audiences with its memorable characters and iconic scenes even decades after its release. During World War II, Buddy Hackett served in the United States Army with an anti-aircraft unit. Following his discharge, he attended the musical Oklahoma on a furlough in 1945, which inspired him to pursue a career in show business. Alan Jenkins earned the title of the greatest scene stealer of the 1930s by the New York Times. Contrary to his roughneck public image, Mo Howard was a quiet, dedicated family man. In his private life, he enjoyed reading, playing bridge, and making hooked rugs. Mo was the only one of the Stooges who grasped the value of money, and wise investments made him wealthy by the time of his death. Back in the early 1960s, there was this big movie project that brought together a bunch of really brave stunt performers. They were like the best of the best at the time, with around 80 out of the 100 in the whole United States joining in. Together, they made some crazy action scenes for the movie. During the time when TV shows were becoming super popular, there was a famous actor named Spencer Tracy who stayed away from television. He loved movies too much to switch over, even though TV was getting really popular. Then there's Mo Howard, who was part of this movie thing too. Before he passed away, he was working on a book about his life called I Stooge to Conquer. But sadly, he didn't finish it. After he died, they published the book under a different name, Mo Howard and the Three Stooges. So, this movie, it's a mad, 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 mad world. Not only had a wild story on screen, but also had some interesting stories behind the scenes. It showed how tough the stunt performers were, how Spencer Tracy stuck to movies, and how Mo Howard tried to tell his story. Pretty cool stuff, right? In a famous 1963 movie, Ethel Merman's dad, Edward, lived a long life, making it to 96 years old. Chick Chandler, a supporting actor, was known for his funny roles and worked in Hollywood for 40 years. He made people laugh with his perfect timing and charm. Phil Silvers, another actor in the film, spoke at comedian Rags Raglan's funeral. Silvers, known for his quick wit, honored his friend with heartfelt words that touched everyone there. The movie wasn't just a regular movie, it had a lot of famous actors like Merman, Chandler, and Silvers. Each actor brought something special to the movie, making it unforgettable. Even though it's been a while since the movie came out, people still love its humor and the strong bond between the characters. It's a classic that many people enjoy watching even today.